Hello and welcome back to the channel, my name is Crashy, and today I want to talk about the basics of Predecessor, uh, the basics of MOBAs a little bit, the basics of laning phases, but more importantly to specifically target some of you guys that are maybe following me that have never played a real MOBA or have never tried a MOBA like this or don't want to get into it. So first and foremost, Predecessor has a unique system where you select a crest, and crests are legendary items with game-changing effects, and essentially you are looking to pick up a passive item or an item that has a passive on it that you will evolve into one of three items. So for the sake of this video, we're using Gideon. He's a mid lane mage. He's a caster and we're going to be recommended the Magician Crest. I think that the Magician Crest or the Occult Crest is really what this character is going to take. You can actually pick any crest you want, uh, but it's not really applicable to every character. So for the sake of this illustration, we're going to be picking up the Magician Crest. This is the first thing you do when you enter a game and the crests are really, really important. And when you evolve this crest two times, you evolve it into one additional crest and then you evolve it one more time. When you go back to base, you will have the ability to turn it into one of these legendary items and um yeah so these are the three items so we're going to start off with the crest and now you are you're met with the shop and this is very moba centric very traditional to mobas where you are now given 350 gold and for the sake of this illustration again we have 350 gold we have some items here that you can pick from and these are item trees so you have money that you're going to be spending on these item components which are the smaller items that go into like these like mid-tier items or midway items I don't know, whatever you want to call it, and then we'll eventually go into a full built item of which you have one, two, three, four, and five slots of. So you can have five full built items and your crest item that will be sitting in this slot here. So I'm going to go over a lot of the basics. So when a game starts off, you buy a 350 codex or a dagger or whatever they are for different roles, and then you're going to start the game. So let's look at the UI here. In the bottom right, you can see the Magician Crest quest, and it says restore mana by dealing damage with abilities or killing enemies, and it's 0 out of 400. So as I'm doing that, it's going to upgrade my crest, and when I do that, it's going to transform this crest into the second one, which I forget the name of, and then when I do it again, essentially it will be ready to transform into a legendary item when I come back to the base. Uh, additionally, on the bottom of the UI, you see that I have my one key is for my potion, and these potions are... Refillable potions can regenerate 90 to 260 health over 10 seconds based on your level. Max charges too. Recharge um, or refill charges are restored upon visiting base. So you get these um, potions. And then on my three key, it is a stealth ward. So activate stealth ward. Place an invisible ward for 84 to 120 seconds at your target location, revealing any nearby visible and camouflaged enemy units uh, for a 174 to 120 second cooldown. So this is scaling depending on your level and you have max two charges. So this game gives gives you these items. You don't have to buy these like you do in other MOBAs, and that's really important to know. Now, here we are, and you can see at the bottom of my UI, I've got these little blue kind of like triangles, and my abilities are highlighted. But all of these abilities, if I press them, nothing happens. Q, E, R, nothing happens. And why is that? Well, if you hold down your control key, you can actually see at the very top right of the UI, it says unspent ability point. You have to level your ability. So as I'm level one, all I have is my left click and I have my blink, which is my ability that everybody has a, a, a blink. We'll talk about that in just a little bit. Uh, but all I have is my passive and I have my left click. So I actually need to unlock an ability. So I'm going to hold down control and I'm going to press either Q, E or right click. And you can see those are the ones that are highlighted in blue. So I'm going to pick up my Q. We pick up our Q and now let's go on ahead and move toward the lane. So now we're behind you know, I'm not like actually playing the game. This is the practice mode anyways, but we're going to talk a little bit about last hitting. And this is mostly for like four out of the five rolls and which I do have a jungle video. So go check that out on my channel. If you're not subscribed, drop a sub right now, drop a like on this video and all the predecessor content is coming your way. So we're going to run towards where all the minions and such are at. And we're in a lane right now. So you would take more, the majority of the characters into lane four out of five characters or players in the game are going to be playing in the lane and this is what a laning phase looks like you have minions fighting minions and you can see as the bar gets lower and lower it's going to turn red and you try to last hit it so i'll let this wave refill or reset and uh, we'll go ahead and show you the importance of, of laning. But your lane phase is going to consist of one tower across from another tower. You're defending your tower. They're trying to defend their tower. And um, this is not even the main map, but you get the point. So you can actually see how the health bar is orange. As it gets lower, it's going to turn red. And that's when you can last hit it. Red, boom. I hit it. You see that I get the gold. You hear the audio feedback on it. And that is what farming in your lane is. This is very traditional MOBA. You really need to make sure that you're getting your last hits. It shows up on the actual UI right here. The little, like, 
character model here, I don't know, the hooded character, that's two. I have two camps, or two kills, and you can see. Now, you can shove your lane, and look, I've leveled up, so now I got the blue triangles back, and I can actually upgrade my ability. So I pick my right click now, I have my Q and my right click. So, now I'm not here to talk about Gideon or his abilities, really, but just talking about the intro, the basics to playing a MOBA. Now here's the thing, you can see that this wave is bigger than mine, and so it's shoving my wave. So if I want to push it faster, I can auto attack faster, but you always want to go for the last hit. So now I can combo some abilities on this, try to get it, get it all low, and try to start shoving my lane. And this is much more getting into a little bit more intermediate play, where you're starting to manage your wave, where you're sort of like, okay, I don't want this wave to push against me, because the thing about a wave pushing against you is that the tower is gonna start focusing it, and now you have to last hit with the tower pressure on you, and that can get a little bit more and more difficult. So, you know, using my abilities to try to burst that down. So you have kind of like three ways that you can hold a lane. Neutral, like this. You can have a lane shoved, where you're pushing it into their tower or on their side, or you can have a lane on your side where um, you can do what's called freezing a lane where it's like you try not to pour, to push it. So this is kind of what I'm doing here. Now granted, there's no pressure from the other side, so my wave is naturally going to win. Um, but I'm kind of like trying to freeze the lane. I don't really want to push it too heavy. I'm just holding it. Now, at the bottom left, let's ignore lane for now. I have 1,070 gold. So I press my B button. I'm going to do an animation. Return to base. And now... We are met with the shop again. So back into item building. So I already had one codex and I can see that two codex make up a diffusal cane. And so I have 1,100 gold. The diffusal cane costs 1,000. I pick that up. I have some leftover gold, nothing I can buy. All right, back to the laning phase we go. Okay, so this is the absolute basics of playing a MOBA. You know, getting to your lane, farming your lane. And now, the, 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 the part that I really can't even show off here is like knowing where to ward, needing to ward. You know, whenever you're actually in mid lane or in one of your lanes inside Predecessor, you need to be using your vision wards. So I'll show you a little bit about that here in just a second. We'll go ahead and use our like uh, teleport ability. And then I'm gonna talk about our blink, which I said I was gonna come back around to. So if this is my lane, you know, down here might be the jungle and I'm gonna go ahead and hold out my ward and I'm gonna press that down there and now I have vision so if there was an enemy down there I would actually be able to see them and I would be able to know that there was a player there so when you're in your lane it's very important that you use your ward charges and of which you only get two if you're an actual laner um, so you know use them wisely use them in a timely fashion make sure that you're keeping yourself um, you know safe from understanding when a jungler might gank and understanding what junglers are now if you're completely new to MOBAs definitely let me know in the comment section down below because I might have to explain some of these terms now I know a lot of my followers have at least played a MOBA before um, so you know we have at least a little bit of understanding there um, but but yeah, this is the game. Now I'm, I've taken a little bit of damage. I can pop one of my health potions. So make sure that you understand the laning phase, the farming, the needing to use your wards, the uh, you know the last hitting. Like I said, the farming, um, going back to base. You don't want to sit in the lane or in the field. You know, even if you're in the jungle or wherever you are, with too much gold on you, you want to be getting stronger. So again, I could base here and I could go back and I could buy the spirit beads or I could save and get the scepter for 900 gold. So play your gold, play your farm. Uh, if you have someone that does like say you get a kill in your lane shove the lane into the tower this is a little again this is getting a little bit more advanced but say you say i just killed my lane enemy right i got a kill on them well i don't want this this farm to sit here i want to get this farm i want to get my friendly farm into the tower so he misses out on last hitting it now the tower is going to take that out so a little bit of uh, information about lane management there all right now our four key you can rebind this to whatever you want but our four key is our blink and this is a it's just like it sounds like you blink or you teleport somewhere so I confirm it I blink here it's on a 300 second cooldown so that's what five minutes five minute cooldown that you have to be aware of because that is your get out of jail free card your chase and, and get a kill on someone and whenever you have your enemies blink down you know that they're a little bit more susceptible to death and vice versa whenever your blink is down you're a little bit more susceptible to death now actually something I didn't even think to tell you uh, just popped up right in front of me I hit level six that is when you can unlock your ultimate ability so prior to that every 
every level, you're going to be putting points into all of your abilities over and over and over again. So if you actually look and see, my Q has five little diamonds on it, of which I have three filled in because I've been putting points into my Q ability, which is my Cosmic Rift. But at level six, you can actually put a point into your ultimate. Now, if I remember correctly, it's six, 11, and I believe 16 for the ultimate. Um, I'm not sure after that. I think that might be level cap. I don't even really remember. Um, but yeah, so friends, let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. This is just a very beginner guide, very beginner guide to understanding how to get into a MOBA. If, like I said, if you're interested in the jungle role, definitely check out my video on jungle. It's a bit more commentary focused and not like guide focused. Um, but this is what you want to be doing. You want to be last hitting. You want to be using your gold. You want to be returning to base, managing your waves, warding. Um, you, I haven't even been able to upgrade my crest because I'm not really doing the thing required for me to do since I'm not really playing a full game. But again, back to the shop. I've got 1278 gold. I pick up the scepter. I can pick up the spirit beads. And now I'm 400 gold away from my first build item, which is the combustion. So friends, if you have any questions, if you have any comments, drop in them in the comment section down below. Drop a like on this video. Subscribe for future predecessor content. As always, be sure to be kind of one another. Tell someone you love them. And I'll see you on the next video.